Hello Aries, so this is going to be a reading from December 14th to the 20th, 2020, and it's during the uh, new moon in Sagittarius, which is also a um, lunar eclipse. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for Aries. <clears throat> so first we have the wheel. So this is about exciting change, new opportunities coming towards you. With that we have the seven of cups, which is all about, it could be daydreaming or um, prone to like illusions um, so it's time to get clear and make a decision and then with that we have the four of cups so this is um, something might be lacking so you're like turning away from it you're, you're like rejecting something or turning away from something and then with that we have Marquita which is she who sees observe, perceive, and scrutinize. So this again is becoming clear, like looking at the bigger picture, seeing things clearly, taking time to scoop things out, and um, you know, deciding what you want. Because then we have delight. So this is something that is um, what you're moving towards. You want to have uh, happiness and joy and bliss in your life. So the wheel is turning for you to be able to do that. You just gotta, you know, make a few decisions and clear some things up um, look at the bigger picture and then um, God is coming in for you is Artemis which is guardian you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected so know that you're safe during this um, during this time when things are changing and then you have chaos so this is like clearing up some of that chaos left over that so the wheel can, can um, you know continue to turn and you can move into a new direction so then this here we have the king of gabriel which is the king of wands so this is looking at things like the bigger picture again and we did have this um see the she who sees so you know you're needing to see something from a different perspective and look at the whole picture and then we have the six of swords so this is like um going towards something um happier and better like she's leaving behind the past and moving forward and this here is the star so this is trust and faith so you're having faith and trust and you're moving forward um, in a new direction um, with this new cycle beginning then you have nemesis she who avenges so you know just make sure you um know what your motives really are you know don't go back and like have any revenge on anything that happened to you you know forgive yourself um and for things you might have fell for or whatever you have to clear all that up and forgive others and so you can move in to this wheel uh, with a clean slate and best intentions yeah and see you still have healing from chaos so this is something that might have happened um and that might be why you're having this who she who avenges that you really need to forgive and forget and move forward to have that clear clarity and then we have cali endings and beginnings the old must be released so the new can enter so yeah so whatever this remnant is of this um avenging and um chaos you know whatever you're holding on to um chaos you had over here again too you need to let that go so you can move forward it's holding you back a little still and then you have authenticity. So this is stepping into who you really are, what you really want, your life, not holding on to the past. Because now we have the Nine of Raphael, which is the Nine of Cups. So this is about your wishes coming true. You know, being fulfilled, happy, content with life. With that, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is reversed. So this could be conflict at home or work. Um, you could be putting your individual needs over someone else. And then you have the Three of Swords. So this is a past heartache or, or a wound or betrayal. And that might be why you're having this uh, healing chaos and um, she who avenges letting that go, forgiving yourself and others. Then she has she who forgives, see? Yeah, so it's still going along with this thing. There's something you're holding on to that was painful that's some kind of chaos or drama and you're needing to heal that up like forgive yourself so you are able to continue on any little past re remnant is holding you back a little and then we have trust yeah you have to trust in the divine you have to trust in yourself you have to trust your path 
trust that things happen the way they did so you could learn a lesson and be able to move forward onto your path. And then cleansing, I mean clearing. So clearing um, is just clearing up that last little bit. You know, you might need to um, purge a little or, or cleanse, do some uh, chakra work, something like that, meditate. And then you have purification. So you have clean, clearing and purification. So this week is a good time to get all that out, clear it and purify it and so you can move into this new beginning. And it's like perfect timing, it's the middle of the month. So you can move into 21 with a, you know, clear slate, turning this wheel and going into your happiness, your wish fulfillment. Um, where's that other one? Your star and your nine of cups. So, that's your message, Aries. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.